Hi, my name is Jeff Black, and today I'm going to introduce you to the Administering Microsoft SQL Server 2012 database course hosted by Wardy IT Solutions, Australia's premier SQL Server training specialists. This is a five-day course that is designed to provide the attendee with a detailed view of the administration of SQL Server Database Engine and its various dependent components. The prerequisites of this course require a basic understanding of the Microsoft Windows operating system and a familiarity of the core concepts of a relational database management system. It is beneficial if the attendee has had some previous experience in working with databases. The structure of the course is instructor-led, with a lab following each module. The course is structured over 20 modules, with four modules covered during each day. The course details the day-to-day -day activities of SQL Server Database Administrator. Module 1 provides an introduction to the SQL Server Relational Database Management System and the components within. Module 2 demonstrates how to prepare systems for SQL Server to ensure that final deployment delivers what is required. After lunch, we finally get down to installing SQL Server and cover the configuration items required to achieve a successful deployment. Module 4 outlines how to work with databases and introduces students to concepts like file groups and tempdb management. Day 2 of this course is backup day with the first three modules devoted to defining recovery models, backing up databases, and recovering databases. This also involves some comprehensive labs that will ensure you come out of the course with a thorough understanding of backup strategies. The final module of the day covers import-export utilities such as BCP and SSIS. This will provide insights on how to migrate data from one location to another in a simple and efficient manner. The next day of the course covers SQL Server security concepts, with modules 9, 10 and 11 addressing SQL Server security concepts. This will provide a detailed insight into the security models available. Instance level permissions as well as database level permissions right down to individual objects within databases. After these three modules, the students will be capable of applying advanced security models within SQL Server. The final module of the day covers auditing requirements to ensure that the DBAs can provide a full audit trail of who has been active on their SQL Server instance. Continuing into the course, the focus shifts onto automating maintenance and monitoring our SQL Server deployment. This part of the course highlights the importance of SQL Server agent service to assist in the management of your SQL Server environments and the importance of proactive alerting and ensuring databases are maintained appropriately. The final day of the course will demonstrate how you can monitor the activity on your database server to determine the activity of an individual user, an application, or even a specific statement. This will assist in identifying suboptimal indexing or poorly structured TSQL statements. Module 19 covers the administration of multiple SQL Server instances and the built-in tools to assist with multi-server administration. The final module outlines how to troubleshoot common issues that occur within database servers and strategies not only to identify the cause but options to resolve the issue. Once completed, this course will provide all the skills required to build and administer multiple SQL Server environments to optimise database performance, manage security within your environment, design and develop a robust backup strategy, and troubleshoot SQL Server issues. For more details on this course and a list of all courses, log on to www.wardyit.com and begin your journey through the SQL Server technology stack with Wardy IT Solutions.